Hey guys, who's ready to do a little road trip today? Me. Not me. We are going to see a campus built by Frank Lloyd Wright. Who knows who Frank Lloyd Wright is? I know. He Nobody. A He's a person. President. He is a person, no longer with and us. He built. He built stuff. Um. You want to run in and Google it real quick? You can tell everybody. Should we go find out? No. Does your phone work? <laughs> Did your phone work? Yeah. So Google Frank Lloyd Wright. Go to Wikipedia and tell everybody about him. But that one doesn't call. He was an American architect, interior designer, Very good. One of these they completed recently. Hey, babe. Hey. Ready to go check it out? Yeah. Look at the neighbor's house is almost done being painted. Are you going to move your truck back in the driveway? Probably. All right, let's go. we got about an hour drive. Hey, Emma, you ready? Mm -hmm. How about you, Jacob? You have gator gear. You ready? <laughs> you ready? Almost there, guys. We don't know what we're going to see, but we're going to see it. Hi. <laughs> 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 Frank, that's it right there. Look. Oh, oh no. Oh, look how cool that building is. That looked really cool. So Frank Lloyd Wright, I think he Quite often, he would design the windows, the furniture. Cool. It's pretty neat. We never got to see Tallahassee in Arizona, so we'll have to do that on a road trip someday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's him. That's Frank Lloyd Wright. You know what's funny about Frank Lloyd Wright? He would wear a cape sometimes, like a superhero. Sure. That's funny. That's cool. Isn't that awesome? Frank Lloyd Wright Campus, Sharp Family Tourism and Education Center, Usonian House, and Geico Gift Shop. What's that? A leaf is swimming? Yes, over there. Look how cool that fountain is. That's awesome. And it sounds cool too. Yeah, so old. What is it? That's him. He didn't really know a hat. Why does he need a hat? That was a statue. That doesn't mean he wore a hat every time. So guys, when he designed a home like this, he designed all the furniture, mm -hmm. the lights, everything in here he designed. He would even tell you he would even tell you what type of dog you were allowed to have. Uh, he would tell you how your garden would look. And he would even uh, sometimes even design your wardrobe. He would even design what you'd wear for the home so you would compliment the home rather than take away from it. That's amazing. The beginning. And all this is yeah. 
So what did it cost in today's day to build this? Look at this puzzle. I believe it was $1,000,000. What? <laughs> what is this? We got a two bedroom, um, a one bath kitchen, redesigned for a professor family of four. Okay. Uh, in addition to the campus and this chapel, it was uh, classroom buildings, all that kind of stuff. And this is where I actually want to add a zoo and a garden and a couple games. That was kind of good. And then the island of the lake. Right across America. I like those colorful windows. He wanted to, but I could see it was his ultimate dream. Yeah, it was just too crazy. Oh, there? Let's go to that light. The kids just a bunch What is your guys' favorite part of this house? The colorful windows, the furniture, or all of it. That opens? Whoa, 
That's awesome. Look at the walkway. Oh yeah. How cool is this? This is awesome. This is a school? What's the map is the first by an outside construction firm. And Wright himself supervised the construction. The Esplanade's play an integral role in connecting the two buildings. The courtyard pool is an example of Wright's use of organic design, playing a fundamental element of nature and water to, under, to unify the buildings and highlight the natural space between them. The copper trim of the Esplanade is extended into the interior ceiling, so they can go inside and out. Oh, it does? The E.T. Ross Library, now known as the Thad Buckner Building. This was originally the library. The corridor, oh wait, the circular William M. Hollis Room, which is now used for lectures. Contains the original desk of the reading room. Essentially modified after it's converted into an office building. Look at how they use the cantilever design to hold up all of those seats without any poles supporting them. What? I just realized. Okay. So the pieces that support them go outside or into these big posts. Wow. Is that cool? Oh, look at that garden. Danforth Chapel. This is like a teaching area. Oh, look at it. It's like a fire. Daddy, there's a chalkboard. It's upside down. The chalkboard that's upside down. <laughs> or at least the writing is. Do you want to see it? I can see it. That's a old phone. How do you call? <laughs> what is that thing? Hold on. How do you That's even work button. that? Hold on. Oh, you don't know how to use. Oh god. There used to be a paper. Before people had phones in their pockets. How do you use it though? You would put in the number and then you would hit call and then the noise would come out of that. How do you? Where do you put the coin in? There's not even a phone there. Hi, babe. Wow. That was a huge jump. You could have jumped that. Watch your head. Oh, she's gonna do it again. Watch your head. Wow! Whoa! Giant jump! Ruth's Rose Garden. <laughs> 